Welcome to my fridge. <laughs> You're the first person to see it. Yay! Hi, I thought I would do another Fridge Raiders with my friend Ksenia, who you all know as Breakfast Criminals. Because I thought, because you do so many cool things with food, I'm dying to see what's in her fridge on a regular basis and ask you a few questions about kind of like your day-to-day -day cooking practice. So can I dive into your fridge? Well, I'm a little self-conscious because it's pretty basic, but let's see what you find. Maybe you find something I don't even know what's there. Do you cook at home a lot? I do. How many how many meals do you think you cook at home so each day? You, since I started drinking butter coffee that you guys are going to try now, and you can find recipe on my website, I just have that in the morning and I go for a few hours, totally fueled on that. And then I have breakfast slash lunch. And that's my main meal at home. And okay. then usually I have dinner out. Okay, so two, so like two meals one, a day at home. Well, like coffee and a meal. Yeah. Every day for sure. Okay. And then sometimes super late night snacky sweet things. Yeah. So how often do you grocery shop? Every couple of days. Okay. I go into Whole Foods and I'm like, wait, I need sauerkraut. And then I end up leaving with a basket of things. Yeah, which is easy to do in New York City because you can walk to the grocery store anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see what's in here. So is this pretty is this pretty representative of what you have on hand most of the time? Exactly, this is okay. very typical. Okay, so if you had to choose like a few of your staples that you always have in your fridge, what would what would maybe like four or five items that you can't live without for sort of putting together healthy meals be? That is easy. Okay, number one, eggs. Always have them in yes. my fridge because you can add them on top of anything for every meal for some protein. And I usually buy pastured eggs. Um, and sauerkraut for sure, because that goes well with every meal as well. Yeah. Breakfast, breakfast for dinner, everything. So that's two. Always some sort of greens. Mm, okay. This time I have kale and dandelion greens. Do you vary that kind of depending on? Depends on what looks good. Okay. Just dark leafy greens yeah. is the staple. I love the bitterness of dandelion greens. Yes. Uh, always avocados. I have it out of the fridge now because I want it to be ripe. Um, always some sort of berries if I want something sweet on top of my ice cream or smoothie bowls. So that's how many, that's four. And uh, butter, ghee. Look at all the different <laughs> types of ghee that I've got here. I'm obsessed with ghee. That goes into my butter coffee. I use that for cooking. Um, and one thing that I've been doing is actually I've been taking pieces of dark chocolate and then putting a little bit of ghee on top of that. Mm -hmm. And that's ridiculous. It's so good. We were just talking about our mutual love of butter and how we can each just eat a little bit of butter or ghee by itself too. So I, I get that. I get that. And then is that, do you keep your coffee in your fridge? Uh, yeah, just because I have a lot of coffee and this is a special Dominican coffee that I found on the edge of Brooklyn uh, just to keep it fresh. And then always lots of dark chocolate as you can see. Yes, that's a nece necessity. In terms of organizing your fridge, do you do you have any system that you kind of use for keeping things more efficient when you make meals, or is it just sort of like you put it in the crisper, or things that go in the crisper, you kind of organize everything? I love organizing the fridge. I actually have a blog post about best ways to organize your fridge to keep things fresh. Awesome. Um, the way I, I just love keeping things visible and remembering what I have. And so I just group it by fruits and vegetables and like all the types of sauerkraut. Like a, I studied visual merchandising in school when I studied fashion. And so for me, like it has to all go together. It has to tell a story. And look, look good. And look, look good. Appealing. I want to feel good when I open my yeah. fridge and I want to see exactly what I have. So like this is the ghee shelf. This is like the healthy fats shelf. Nice. This is like the things that have been opened, like lemon and ginger. Um, these are all the liquids. Okay. And then sodas. Still, when I go home and visit my parents, when we go grocery shopping, no one touches the bags when we get home because yeah. they know how much I'm obsessed with organizing the fridge and like sorting the groceries and putting everything in place. And you've always liked to do that? I always like to do that. I go to yeah. my sister's place and I organize her fridge. Like when I see if dairy is like, there's dairy here, dairy here, dairy here, and it's like everything's mixed up, I feel unsettled. And I feel the need to put it all together so that people see where everything is. Yeah. Well, it's more efficient probably that way too, to put stuff together. Yeah. What is something in here that you think is surprising or that might surprise people watching that you have in your fridge? Probably. Well, the amount of chocolate is kind of crazy. I don't know if that's surprising or not. I think that's why we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
the the amount of sauerkraut. I have three different types oh, of sauerkraut. Wow. That's kind of cool. She has three types of sauerkraut, which is pretty amazing. And I guess what could be surprising is soda, because I've never really been a soda person, but I'm really into this soda late at night with a squeeze of lime. You do you like the bubbly bubbliness of it? I or? like the fizziness. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm craving something fizzy and I'm not ready for kombucha. Yeah. And that's where like zero calorie stevia sweet and super light soda comes in. Awesome. Well. Oh, I just found cacao nibs. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for letting me invade your fridge for fridge raiders. She can't stop organizing. Um, I think that it's so interesting to see not only what you have in your fridge, but also how you set it up and mm -hmm. also like what that means to your day-to-day -day cooking and meal prep too. So thank you. Yeah. Do you want to see more details? Um, I'll, po I'll do some more poking around and okay. maybe ask you to make me something. <laughs> so thank you. You're welcome. Check it's out. It's good to have you. Thanks. Check out Ksenia's info um, beneath in the info box below and follow her on Instagram and read her blog, which is amazing. Her recipes are amazing. Thanks again. Thank you.